Welcome back to the channel. Today's piece, we're gonna go over something that was not part of my room tour. It's kind of an obscure piece, but the concept on it is one of the greatest concepts I saw. It's gonna be the Men in Black Rosenberg. So this particular bust was made by ECC. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, um, they were the ones that also did this Mohawk in this gizmo. And they're known for using what's called translucent resin, which uh, as it sounds, it's resin that has a little translucency to it. And it does really give a pretty real effect. In fact, um, I'm a huge fan of silicone, but this skin for human likeness of something that's non-silicone, this is the best work I've seen. The paint that they used, um, just the detail that you see in there, it actually does look really real. Now we'll go more in detail at the end. I'll, I'll close the head and kind of and kind of show what it looks like with that. Um, but uh, the mustache, since it's not silicone, they can't hand punch that, so it definitely does not look as good. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll go more in detail at the end of the video on that stuff. But I thought I would show you what really makes this bust. And that's the, uh, how it opens up here. So yeah, when I first saw it, I thought, yeah, he was kind of an obscure character, him in black. Why would I, you know, want to pay so much to get something like this? And then the more I saw it, I thought, man, that is one of the coolest concepts that I ever seen. So I ended up pulling the trigger and, you know, just as I thought, I, I do think it is one of the coolest concepts. So if you remember in the movie, of course, everyone thought he was human. And then, well, I guess we knew he was an alien, but we didn't know his head opened up like this. So when he got killed and he was in the uh, morgue and they were doing the examination, there was like a little button on his ear and they pressed that and it opened up like this. And pretty much if you look at the movie and you look at this, it's got all the little details in there and it's, it's nicely done. The paint work on the alien, I think, looks really good. And I've got this plugged in right now. So up above those lights, those are kind of the light up features. So if you did have this on at night, it would kind of glow like that. And even on the inside of the mask, you can kind of see how he was able to see the outside world. So the concept on this is just super, super cool. And plus I was a, a pretty big Men in Black fan. You know, I like the base that they, uh, that they did. Kind of that chrome look that you see with all the Men in Black props. They put a nice chroming on it. You know, the suit material, it's nice material. It does feel like a suit. Kind of a cheap tie. But yeah, the real star of the show is on, on the inside. Now he does come out of there for this video. I'm not gonna take him out. Kind of have him situated the way I want. But yeah, you can see he's he's working the levers there. And I believe they had access to the actual prop used in the movie. 
So they were able to kind of, not 100%, but that's what I thought I heard, copy it to, you know, what you actually saw on screen. And on screen, when they touched the ear, it was like motorized and it popped open. Of course, it, it doesn't do that. That would have been pretty cool, but um, you kind of just pull it open. Well, pull it open carefully. So yeah, let me go ahead and close this up. And you guys can kind of see what it looks like when it's closed. So here it is with the face closed. And as mentioned, since this is translucent resin, they really can't hand punch the hairs like you see on some of my silicone bust. And this mustache, I even worked with this for like an hour, does not look the greatest at all. It was... They should have taped it down or something, but it was just like going all over the place. And it just does not want to straighten. And I'm afraid to use heat. I don't want any of it to fall off and whatnot. But so the mustache definitely could have looked better. But as mentioned, the skin tone does look really, really good. The glasses they put on there, it's actually real glasses. So that was a nice touch. The eyes, they're okay, but they're not usually as good as I've seen from ECC. So I do wish they put a little better eyes in there. Like if you take a look at my Freddy here, yeah, those eyes look 100% real. For these, you can kind of tell. They're good, but just not great. The, uh, the eyebrows look decent. Um, or the eyelashes. The eyebrows themselves, yeah, don't look so good. So, you can see, like on a well-done silicone, what that hair look looks like. You know, that's some eyebrows there. And I probably could have closed it a little bit better, but you are definitely going to see a seam. But in reality, you're never going to display it like this. At least I don't think you're going to. You're always going to have it open. So yeah, if you guys got any comments, throw it down below. Any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching another video. Hey guys, I appreciate you watching another video. I'm a huge fan of home theater and these movie replica props. I'm going to put out a couple of videos each week in those areas. And if you're a huge fan like I am, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.